well, here we are. This is my let's play of Oddworld Smile Factory. My own game that I've made that, uh, yeah, so it's going to be weird kind of let's play in it. Because I know everything about the game. I just kind of want this to be like a normal let's play as best as I can do. So I probably won't go into too much detail about the development. Okay, here we are. So this is the, uh, the first bit with the uh, to walk, press and hold the W, A, Z, A, A, S and D keys. And we've got the escape plan. Escape plan, make way through the labs, get to the elevators, find an exit and get out of here. Okay. Now we've got this little board here which is explaining like the Vikers conglomerate working closely with our friends, the, Mag the Magog Cartel, to bring you the products you need. And as you can see, janitor of the year. So basically you're playing as the janitor of this establishment. The room that you're just in is the janitor's office. So yeah, and here we've got sort of the main lobby of this big facility. Well, we've got the new facility under construction, but over here, the Vikers conglomerate businesses producing the finest consumer goods on the market, and uh, a newspaper, Vikers Labs facility shut down. Why have they been shut down? I guess we'll have to play to find out. Okay, so, basically this is just the sign saying this area is due for maintenance. Do not press E to pull open the lever, which we can do of course, condemned. So this is just sort of this level. It's sort of hard playing it when like, I, you know, you're like trying to play it under the guise of never experiencing it before, but yeah, this level is just sort of about getting the player used to it. Don't step, press space to jump. See if anyone recognizes that sign from anywhere. Um, but yeah, Vicus Laboratories. And here we get introduced to the two lever doors. So there's a, there's, well, it starts out with two red lights. Pull one lever, one of the light turns green. Indicates, well, there's another lever. So where is it? This is the only place to go. To climb a ladder, walk up to it and look up while moving forwards. There we go. Loose lips get stitched. Well, that explains why you're a silent protagonist, I guess. Okay, the Mogog cartel is sending some Gluckens for a tour. It's time to unveil our new product. So, yeah, I'm just sort of... It, it was difficult sort of trying to introduce the lore of Old World into the game. It's just teaching you to, uh, to run, basically. Vikus Labs. <laughs> this bit actually it was originally the starting area, but yeah, oops, okay, I kind of ruined that dramatic reveal. There we go, and the doors open, which is pretty, pretty nice. I just love the, like, I tried to really capture the architecture of Vikus Labs and that kind of thing. So it just has such a unique style, I just really wanted to recreate, basically. But yeah. <laughs> but yeah. So it's it's sort of interesting. This is one of like the first areas that I did of it actually. It's it's so weird, like going back and thinking back to the process of making it and and that kind of thing. Aha. Uh -huh. I love that, the dramatic reveal. Meech Munchies. Vikers products. Vikers know best, and are proud to take you on a fine, on a tour of our fine marketing department to showcase our products. Welcome prospective clients. Vikers Labs welcomes our Glucken business partners to our premises. So basically, you know, it's, it's like... This is where the this is where the Vikers would have taken the Gluckens on a tour. That's why it's got like the nice red leather padded walls instead of the grimy green ones. But yeah, Vikers know best. Need a pee, need a breather? Press P to pause and take a break. Well, keep that in mind. Vikers know best. Want a closer look at our inventory? 
Press and hold the right mouse button to zoom in. <laughs> Pretty, uh... Yeah, this, this level is just like a tutorial. Done with examples, these do not work. Fun fact, the reason I put that in there was I originally wanted you to be able to press it. But... For, I don't know, some glitch happened where when I, when they were in there they, they sort of... They, it kind of glitched out, basically. So... I just made them stationary machines, effectively. But I put that there because I knew people would be trying to like press it because that works what I'd do anyway. And here we get the first lightning. And we've got the lightning never, which is introduced here. So, that's sort of, you know, given us a little hint as to what's coming, like what the uh, enemies are sort of based on, I guess. Vikers know best. Our vending machines serve your businesses extremely well, but it's time to upgrade to the next model. Are you trying hard enough to sell your products? Vikers Labs is proud to show you the next evolution of our vending machines. Our new appliance that will provide higher rates of stock rotation than you have ever experienced. We present the Vikers' newest genius invention, the self-promoting vending machine. The only reason you've been using stationary vending machines is because our brilliant technicians have only just had the innovative idea of giving them wheels and a mind of their own. Instead of forcing your customers to go to your vending machines, now the machines go after them, making it far more convenient for consumers to access the items you sell. Save you a lot of marketing by purchasing these automatons that will do that for you. With a built-in voice box to give you a sales pitch and an exterior decorated with a massive friendly grin, you customers will be dying to buy your products after they spot the self-promoting vending machine following them around. So far you've been passively making sales, but with a more aggressive approach than ever before, you will see profits explode. Buy our new self-promoting vending machines and go on the attack with your selling. Yeah. So basically the Vikers are getting their shrinks, the, their robots, to basically advertise and their products for them. We're both in this way, like, they're, they're, it's kind of ironic, isn't it? They're getting a robot to advertise robots that advertise. But yeah, so that's kind of the idea. I thought that's quite a a uh, quite a uh, last minute addition that I added in for shrink but I just thought it was such a interesting th a good way of telling the lore I guess of them trying to sell their products so how much moolah would you save ah well that looks certainly legit doesn't it and uh, yeah just all these sorts of things. Try for yourself. This example of our painted tracking and scanning device detects anyone that passes within its light. Okay, do you recognize this? As if that wasn't enough, these machines double as greasers, using smart scanner technology to identify employees and friends of your business and proceeds to welcome them into your facility. But backers have gone a step further. By default, due to the system and its role as a greeter, it will know an intruder when it finds one. Taking advantage of this, our technicians have installed a laser into the machines that will swiftly incapacitate any unauthorized personnel, so you can rest easy knowing your building is in safe hands. You can't go wrong with these all-in-one appliances. Trust us on this, backers know best. Yeah, so, basically sort of saying greeter functionality, if it's a friendly guy, he'll say welcome and welcome him into the facility, which will, will result in a happy customer, I guess. Uh, but if it's an enemy, zap, they get killed, basically. Very simply put. There's a little device down there. Okay, factory. End of tour here, or well, that's been spray painted over the take a look. Our factories are focused on creating the highest quality of products in as little time as possible. But clearly something's gone wrong, they don't want you to see what happened over here. So this is basically the checkpoint, just letting you know you can go to these checkpoints, boop, 
there you've just saved the game I mean that's the first checkpoint in the game like if you die before that you'd have oh what's that well I, I know what it is I'm trying to play it like as if I've never played it before because <laughs> otherwise I'm just like gonna be speed running it so clearly they're working on something here what could it be I mean kind of already know Vikos conglomerate building labs training experts trust Viker products yeah you wanna trust their products clearly <laughs> weapons testing some more mines why would they have mines in the lab that seems pretty careless of them oh, this bit I find these things funny they remind me of uh, Star Wars episode Episode 1. Just the red laser bits. Oh, look. <laughs> and then you've got this thing that I just kind of put in as like a, uh, a even further along prototype, shall we say. Oh, you've got to be careful of those mines. Like, it's very easy to just accidentally forget they're there. So, yeah. Let's continue on, shall we? So, no entry, but we've opened a door, so screw you, sign. We've got this very dark room. <laughs> With a certain silhouette there. This bit was um, inspired by Power of the Daleks, a Doctor Who episode from like 1967. If you know it, you'll, you'll recognise it. Oh, and yet they're moving. Man. So yeah. Sealed off. Access to the rest of the building is strictly off limits to all but scientists. As a result, this door can only be opened from the labs, which are over here as our f nice Viker claw points to us. S loose lips get stitched. Get back to work. Righty-ho. Just all these different concept art of like potential greeter and that kind of thing. The Daily Deception. Vikers machines go haywire. Murderous vending machines malfunction. So-called greeters go on killing spree. Vikers labs. Oops. I mean, yeah, that's a big oops right there. Okay. Deadly vending machines record. So clearly, it hasn't gone well for the Vikers. They're uh, they've they've made a bit of an error with the greeters. Warning: Keep record machines on assembly line. Don't activate power lever, or they will be deployed. Oops. Well, that's a bit of a. Uh, maybe we should not have done what we just did. Okay. Let's get to it. Yeah, so I'm guessing, uh, I'm guessing that pressing that lever earlier I may come back to haunt us, maybe. Lightning gates next to a numbered symbol are deactivated with the lever next to the same symbol. So the one symbol there deactivates the, the lever next to one, deactivates the gate next to the one. These things, these little like yellow and purple steps, I added in because it was suggested because um, it was like really tricky to see where the edges were before. So I put these in and I love it. I think it just makes it look so much more like Oddworld. Just to be, yeah, I just really like that. Really good idea. Okay. And well, this is level one. That's level one done, which is just sort of a tutorial level, introducing the law, introducing the greeters, or, you know, the idea of them. We haven't really seen them yet properly. Uh, directory, Vikers Laboratories. Vikers know best. Our complicated system of elevators ensures no one is able to escape our facilities. So, that's why we have to go through so many elevators, it seems. 
Oh god. Man, you'd be worried if you went in an elevator and it was bloody going that fast, wouldn't you? Right. Okay. So now level two. I shall we leave that there. We've finished the tutorial level. We finished level one. Now let's get on to level two. Hello. Follow me. Mm-hmm. <laughs> 